So I am about to start working on Berta 6294, which is this garment here, or this pattern. I have made this before and I made the one that the model is wearing in gray. Let me get this clear. So that is view, what is it, B? And I love this garment. I actually wear it all of the time. So I decided that I want to go ahead and make another one. And I want to make the same view and everything. And I found this fabric from Hobby Lobby. It has like wells in it, like a corduroy type of fabric, but it's stretchy. And it has kind of like a velour look to the fabric. So I thought that that would be cute. I can see this being worn with jeans and maybe boots or something. So yes, I am excited to get started on this and show you what it looks like once it's all done. So let me grab the pieces that I need. I don't think there are that many, but What's nice is because I made it before, everything is already cut. So I love when that happens. Once I get all these pieces pulled open, then I will press them out. That's what I like to do. Then I will lay them out on the fabric and cut them out and get this garment all sewn up. So the view that I'm making does call for a belt and the first time I made this I did make the belt but I never wear it with the belt so I'm not going to make the belt this time so I'll save some fabric that way which is nice. And then the other thing I remembered is that the sleeve was a little too long on the other one. I think it's about an inch and a half too long. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this sleeve pattern so that the sleeve won't be too long. That will give me a little more fabric. So I'll have a nice bit of fabric left over once I cut out the sleeve, which is nice because I love being able to work with leftover fabric in some type of way. So I'm gonna measure. I grabbed my yardstick and I think it's gonna be over a yard, it looks like for sure. So it's about one and a quarter. So that's good. I'm excited. That gives me plenty. Although I must say, I don't remember how much fabric I started with. And I also have this little scrap piece too, which is a decent size. I think I purchased exactly what the pattern called for. But I do have a lot left over. So if that's questionable. But I'm happy. So I have just finished attaching the collar to the front of the garment. And there's a dart actually in the front that goes in the collar section. And I really like the way it looks when it's done because you can't even tell that the dart is in there. It just looks like, you know, one whole collar piece. But actually there is a dart 
So I'm literally just coming in from Joanne Fabrics. I decided to go to the mall to do a little bit of shopping and while I was out, I decided to stop at Joanne to pick up some thread because I am almost finished with the garment. This is what I have so far. And the whole time that I was sewing, I did not have any matching thread. So I was using kind of like this peachy color, but you know, the garment is more of kind of, I don't know, kind of like a mustard. So this really is not like a perfect match, but I figured while I was out, I would stop at the store. And it was really cool because when I got there, they were having a sale on thread, which I didn't know. And it was buy three, get two free. So let's see how I did because I didn't take a sample with me and I don't really know if I purchased the right color. I was kind of guessing. So let's look at this and see. Okay, so I picked up five and I know that I can eliminate these. I just picked these up because I needed them. Oh man, these don't really match either. Oh well, I may just continue using this one just to keep everything consistent. And then with the remainder of the fabrics, like the scrap that I have left over, when I get ready to sew something else, I'll figure out which one of these I would decide to go with. Okay, so if you remember that I made this before, I wanted to show you the first one. So the first one that I made was made out of this sweatshirt fabric. And I really like it. It's a lot more casual. The fabric is thicker. And I do love it and I wear it all the time, which is what made me decide to make the second one. But I really can tell the difference between the two just based on the fabric alone. So this one is a little bit thinner and it feels to me and looks a little bit more dressy than the other one. So I feel like now I will have a dressy, I'm calling it a duster, and then a more casual duster. And it's just a different fabric that makes all the difference. I made a size 8 in this garment. The sleeves were still a little bit too long by about an inch and a half for me. And I didn't make any other changes. And I really, really like it. I think I like the color the most. To me, the color just looks very rich. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. April 15th is Jackie Robinson Day. And on that day, Major League Baseball players will wear the number 42 in Robinson's honor. <laughs>